As you may already know, the coffin of Queen Elizabeth II is currently lying in state at Westminster Hall. The public is able to visit her coffin to pay their respects to the deceased sovereign. You may have noticed this particular flag being draped onto the coffin. This flag is indeed the royal standard of the United Kingdom, effectively the official flag of the reigning monarch of the UK. It was used during the reign of Queen Elizabeth II, and now represents the current sovereign, who is King Charles III. This flag is merely a banner of arms, meaning that it uses a shield within the coat of arms of the UK as the design of the flag as a whole. The flag is divided into four quadrants. The first and fourth quadrants feature the banner of arms of England. They represent both the historical Kingdom of England as well as the current constituent of England within the United Kingdom. The second quadrant represents Scotland as well as its past incarnation as the Kingdom of Scotland. The third quadrant shows the banner of arms of the former Kingdom of Ireland, although nowadays it is assumed to symbolize Northern Ireland. What is really interesting is that there are two versions of this flag, the one that is used in England and pretty much anywhere else, and this one, which is meant to be used within Scotland, which of course replaces one of the English quadrants with another Scottish one. The royal standard is pretty much used to inform whether a monarch is present in a particular building or not. You may know about this fact already. When a royal residential building, or British Parliament for instance, displays a royal standard, it means that the sovereign is present within the building. Otherwise, the regular Union flag is shown. I was actually visiting Windsor Castle sometime in the past. And yes, apparently the Queen was within the property while I was there, which is pretty cool actually. But I digress. What I also intended to talk about is the absence of Wales within the royal standard. And this could be easily explained. Similar to why Wales isn't represented in the Union flag is that Wales had already been part of England by the time the Kingdom of Great Britain, along with its flag, came to be. It's only now that Wales is a separate entity than England. But the UK is a country of tradition, of course. And because the royal standard was made to reflect the royal coat of arms, which don't include Wales, it's so likely that this will be changed soon. Anyway, if you've liked this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.